Hey YouTube, uh, welcome to another Ulyssa tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, fix a bloated battery, a battery that um, of a MacBook, in my case it's an old MacBook, late 2006, okay, and I got to this point where the uh, battery got bloated and so it pushed against uh, the trackpad. So, um, uh, I couldn't use the trackpad and therefore I couldn't use uh, the laptop anymore okay so it wasn't the problem of the battery uh, that had no charge it was just that it uh, got um, gases basically you know and so I advised actually a very uh, simple way uh, to get rid of those gases okay uh, so make sure you follow uh, the few uh, warnings uh, before attempting this homemade fix and uh, well enjoy the video and uh, let me know if it worked for you or not okay okay before you attempt to do anything on your battery be warned of these five points number one do this procedure in a well ventilated place number two keep your face away from the battery number three stay away from flammable materials and chemicals Number four, if you are a minor, do not try to do this. Ask your parents first. Number five, do it at your own risk. So to open it up, you need to unscrew these screws here. I've already done that. The way you open it up, the battery is it's a bit tough, but just open it up like this. And this is actually the hardest part. Just lift this up towards that way you and basically you try to ah there you go unlock it don't do it this way because otherwise you risk uh, bending the, the, these metal plates here towards this side here okay towards, towards that side uh, once you got the uh, uh, the case open, well, you can see this. Um, the batteries are in packs of two plus two plus two, two, is two, four, six batteries. And as you can see, it's um, these batteries basically are packed in pouches. Okay, each one of these it's, uh, is a pouch which contains a metal plate, well, uh, something metal, anyway. So, what I, uh, what I did basically to uh, release the gases that built up inside those pouches, well, in my, in my first attempt, actually, I took a cutter, okay, and I just went straight through it. Okay, it actually opened up the pouch, uh, released the gases, and also uh, sparked. Yeah, the contact between this part metal and the metal of the battery just created a spark that ignited a little bit of the gases that came out of the bag. But um, yeah, it was nothing really serious, just a bit of scare there, and. Um, so, after that, that first experience, I wanted to do, I devised this piece of engineering, which is basically consists of a um, piece of tape, very sticky tape, okay? Basically, what I did was taking the piece of sticky tape, stuck it to the pouch, and uh, while lifting the pouch with the tape, I just went, you know, and I cut a hole into the pouch um, with the cutter pointing, pointing not downwards tor towards the metal of the battery but just sideways <clears throat> just like this so I wouldn't touch the metal 
and uh, so I succeeded uh, I didn't get any sparks and I was able to um, let the gases out and so I was also able to have a flatter battery and now what I'm going to do basically uh, of course after after covering <coughs> the holes in the pouches after covering them with some some tape okay I I put the batteries back into their place and uh, basically I'm gonna close the case and see if it works for me so it feels to me like it's still a little bit uh, inflated or swelled up uh, but less than it, than it used to be so basically I'm just gonna um, put the screws back and uh, well, give it a try and see if it's working correctly okay so I'm uh, using now as you can see from the icon I'm using the power of the battery and it's about at 81% charge um, and it's working fine it's working really well so my trackpad now it's uh, back to functioning as normal and uh, yeah i'm really happy actually with the homemade fix okay so uh, if this tutorial uh, helps you um, in fixing your battery please uh, let me know uh, write your suggestions your comments and subscribe thanks for watching another ulisse tutorial and uh, see you next time